If you're a homeowner in Lidditz or Mannheim Township, I've got great news for you. Your home value continues to go up, and this is the market update for November 2021, showing you the latest information to help guide you moving forward. Hi there, and thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt Moore. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams based here in the Lancaster area. And this video is going to be showing you six very interesting statistics for the market update on November 2021 for the 17543 and 17601 area codes. That is Lidditz area and Mannheim Township too. It's no surprise that we continue to be in a very strong seller's market. It seems to be in the headlines all the time. But here's the information that you need to know for your area. The average sale price for the month of November in 2021 in these areas was right around $333,000. Now that's an impressive number when you look at the averages, but it's even more impressive when you look at the county as a whole. The average sale price in Lancaster County in the month of November 2021 was right around $298,000. That means if you live in Lidditz or Mannheim Township, your home value is roughly about 12% higher than what the average for the entire county of Lancaster is doing as well. So good thing you're in the right area for your home values to continue to improve. The average listing price to sale price ratio is running at about 102.6%. What that means is that homes are selling for about 2.6% higher than what they are listed for in the Mannheim Township and Lidditz areas through the month of November 2021. So that is good information for you moving forward. Now, as we look at the last 90 days, going back to the beginning part of September, that ratio was about 102.8%. So instead of 102.6, it's 102.8 when you look at the last 90 days. So what that tells me is that while things are still very competitive out there, especially in those Mannheim Township and Lidditz areas, maybe we're taking the edge off slightly of what the real estate market has been doing in those areas. And it's always good to be in more of a healthy, balanced market, especially if you're going to be selling and then potentially purchasing in that same market. At the end of November 2021, there were 22 homes still on the market for an average listing price of about $491,000. And also at the end of November, there were 114 homes that were under contract for an average under contract price of about $435,000. So what that's telling me is that the average sale price in the last month, month of November, has been about $333,000. Projecting forward, I think we're gonna see that jump up here pretty quickly going into the next few months, as there are some that are under contract for quite a bit higher of a sale price. Like I mentioned, that average sale price uh, in the month of November, about $333,000. And that was done with 82 homes that were closed. And you compare that to November 2020, where 83 clo homes had closed during that time. We're running right about where we were this time last year. But where things are quite a bit different compared to this time last year, that's the average days on market. Last year, November 2020, that average day on market was about 31 days, about a month. Now it's 15 days looking back at the month of November uh, from this year. So we are seeing those days on market coming down compared to last year. Same amount of homes, it's just that the days on market's coming down, which tells you the buyers are still out there. In fact, they're even out there more than they were this time last year. And when we look at the total number of homes that come on the market and then eventually go under contract for the entire year, that number's running right about 91%. And I bring that up because there's a narrative that says that 100% of homes that hit the market end up selling, and that's just simply not true. There are opportunities out there from homes that sit on the market for longer periods of time. A lot of times it has to do with having too high of a sale price than what the market is speaking for what that home is worth, but there also could be a number of different factors as well. So if you're selling and buying in this same market, there's definitely still some opportunities for you as a buyer. And we know that the interest rates are very likely going to go up as we go throughout the next year. So not only are you at a very good time to sell historically, but you're also historically at an incredible time to buy. Just in the last couple of weeks, I have personally had clients locking in 30 year mortgage rates less than 3%. That's insane and a great time to get in on the market and lock down those interest rates while you still can as we go throughout the next 12 months, we are expecting to see those interest rates going up. So if you've given any thought to buying or selling a home as we go into the next couple of months, 
I'd like to have a conversation with you. We can talk about a strategy, build one that works for you, that help navigate the challenges and the opportunities that this market presents. When it comes to selling your home, there are a number of different ways that we can make your home sell for the highest sale price given the market environment with least amount of inconvenience for you as a seller moving forward. And that's exactly what you wanna see. And then on the buy side, of course, there's some challenges associated with potentially being in competitive situations. I'll talk more about those strategies and how we can make you more competitive without necessarily spending more money. And who wouldn't want that? It's all great all around. So if you're interested in having that conversation, let's get in contact today. You can go to my website, www.mattmorehomes.com. You can look around, see what there is uh, to offer there. And of course, reach out through my contact pages on that website. You can email me directly as well, matt at mattmorehomes.com. And I will display my uh, direct phone information too. So if you'd like to reach out via text, phone call, doesn't matter. I want to be here and available for you to start that conversation. Thanks so much for watching. And until next month, we'll see you again.